Morning, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. It's taken me a little while to get this together, um, but I wanted to bring to you today a little interview Holly and I did with the guys from Conk House. And if you aren't familiar with that story, Asif, Kaiser, and their team had a some testing that they did that proved just incredible. We're going to tell you not only how they did it, how they got a bunch of traffic, um, the steps and processes that they took, and some of the results. And just to give you an idea, if you're not familiar with the story, they took a domain, and you can see here in August of last year, it actually ranked for, or actually had organic, estimated organic traffic was about three, over 3 million. And so this over this one month period, they ranked for 4 million keywords, um, scraping content, not being unique, not caring about the quality of content, and actually made a million dollars in affiliate sales on Amazon. So without going any further into it, let's get into the um, actual interview with Asif and Kaiser. Well, do you, do you guys want to start by just kind of giving me a, a little bit about who you are and your experience in SEO or affiliate marketing? Yeah, uh, let's, let's get started. Uh, uh, Kaiser, are you ready? Guys are uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, hear me uh, properly. Yeah, we can, uh, we can yeah, hear you. your audio was yeah. Uh, Perfect. Thank you. So uh, uh, I started my marketing career back in 2018, and like it wasn't like by mistake I started in marketing. I actually wanted to start in UX, but uh, where I was working, like they need some help in marketing, and they was like, "Can you help with like some marketing?" And I was like, "Okay, I can help." And then uh, I started my career in marketing and then I really like it. So I kept going. And uh, in 2022, uh, sorry, 2020, yeah, uh, I think uh, I started like reading a lot of about SEO. And um, yeah, this is how I started my SEO career basically. So I, like, I was doing marketing before and then I like, okay, SEO was something that I really interested in. Like before that, I explored a lot of in growth area, but when I realized, okay, I need to you know focus on a stable growth. And uh, when I discovered uh, people like Corey and uh, of course Matt Diggity and uh, like uh, other people, so uh, it was it was like okay, like it was making sense to me. So I was like okay, especially when I saw that interview of Kelly Roofs, I I was like okay, I think I can do it. So this is how I started, and I did a couple of projects. I did, uh, I did a couple of websites of mine, and everything was like smooth. So I was like, okay, this is what I can do. Then I built my own agency, SEO agency, back in uh, 2021. Then uh, I got like I had a lot of SaaS founder, early stage SaaS founders. Then I helped them to get their initial, you know, go to market strategy and all. Then at, uh, last year I joined Test Sigma. Uh, it's a software testing platform. That's why actually like this testing thing came into me and I was like, okay, maybe I am not into software testing, but I can uh, do a lot of testing with Google. So uh, besides my full-time job, me and Kaisap and we were like two, three more people who built the actual you know tool behind the punch house. And uh, we like implement, uh, implemented the uh, same strategy uh, over 100 domains yeah and one of it is like console and Kaiser is the actually like the owner of the domain so uh, let's get into it Kaiser. nice congrats Kaiser by the way <laughs> uh, actually I started my journey uh, to, uh, 2014 and I try uh, first time it was uh, li uh, live streaming, even blogging, like that. And uh, to uh, 2016, 17, I uh, trying to uh, create uh, Amazon FBA, and successfully I uh, growing this business. And uh, end of the 17, I see uh, the affiliate marketing uh, was going good, so I decide uh, we can try. And uh, uh, basically the content side, actual the niche side, I try to make, but uh, not, I am making uh, enough there. My success was not enough there, uh, but I am trying, but I see the uh, 
some website uh, ma maximum keyword uh, yeah, uh, top on the page but there have no quality content so i try to find the, what is the reason the, their content is not good and uh, some sometimes some uh, website i see there is no any content but they top on the page top on the uh, google search so uh, we are tried uh, we try to find out what is the reason and we see the the main cause is the domain power and the uh, and i believe that was the uh, not quality uh, actually the quantity so i decide we can try to uh, something about quantity not quality <laughs> so uh, so uh, we can uh, we had we are start uh, uh, searching about this and uh, we found the uh, about the expert domain and uh, about the tool and i uh, discuss with uh, asif bhai uh, we can try and uh, i have some friend uh, uh, we are uh, four or five friend are try to doing something uh, at a time we are uh, create the tools and start uh, our journey the first time it was not and uh, i started and uh, uh, coming uh, a nice result it not uh, first time but in of the in uh, of the journey are you see the cons house and i have a lot of other website that are doing uh, well but it's not viral <laughs> cons house was viral so uh, <laughs> every person see the cons house but most uh, more uh, the my maximum earning come from uh, cons house and also other uh, five foot site that was great uh, uh, 100k plus traffic was wow so you. Well, you mentioned um you know the domain authority was important to you guys and you you initially looked at the quality of content and everything like that obviously you know holly is definitely more what would be considered a black hat uh sometimes not caring about the quality of the content but more about the links and manipulation that she can do in order to make something rank did that end up being your primary reason for success do you think that you were able to manipulate what google was looking yeah. for yeah uh, like basically uh, google can't uh, do anything because like uh, we build the topical authority right so, like there are a lot of uh, low volume keywords that we were targeting like when we're talking about like a lot of students like millions of viewers that we are pushing like every day 5000 pages we are pushing like if we uh, was trying with the new domains the new domain doesn't have the crawl power like the, <coughs> don't, don't, don't give the you know crawl budget so that's why we pick old domains and old domains with like a lot of pages that had a lot of pages so google already allowed that you know crawling budgets to those websites so we knew okay we can you know do something with these domains and when we pushed all this you know and the, naturally it got topical authority i as i say like we didn't build any in a links like basically like all the you know manipulated content and as i say like if uh, someone ranked on google with lorem ipsum then definitely we can you know rank uh, with manipulated you know uh, keywords and like pages so it was just like tweaking the keywords like everything was same just image and uh, keywords and like some scrapping from the amazon and it was bang it was well, man, working for us you just gave out you know you know a really really good tip for anybody that's considering um affiliate marketing or you know even trying to duplicate what you guys did which is if you're going to buy a domain from somebody it needs to be something that has had a lot of pages indexed and i i you know i didn't think about that much until you had just said it about how important that could be because google does crawl it and if they trusted it before they'll trust it in the future yep. very good tip there um so was concaus obviously that's the one we've all heard about and I, I you don't need to get into you know others that you have on there but was that so has that, has that been your biggest success or have you had others that just haven't got the notoriety because of what happened to concaus 
Consoles, uh, uh, yes, this is biggest success, and uh, others, uh, other side uh, are not uh, like biggest, but uh, it also uh, nearest. <laughs> Good. I'm, I'm excited to see how those work in the future. And, you know, maybe you can give us tips every once in a while. Of, hey, this we had this happen, but this is definitely the one that got the most notoriety and that people want to know a little bit more about. And, and so when you started planning this process, how many domains were you testing on to see what would work? Uh, actually, uh, the uh, consoles was viral. Uh, but uh, we are tried uh, like 100 plus domain. Uh, the first time the result not come, but uh, I, I was some sale and it's uh, not uh, big, but enough. Uh, every day, 100 plus sale coming. Uh, wow. and, and, and just start, we are. Uh, so, uh, we believe uh, we are get uh, minimum 100, uh, 100k plus traffic in a month. That was our, our goal. Um, uh, so uh, we are uh, uh, first time that see the sale is not bad. So we are trying, trying and trying. And as a result, uh, you will see the cons house. Uh, in a time I, I uh, build uh, success uh, um, five to five to seven another domain that was uh, give us like a uh, hundred k USD and hundred k plus and some hundred uh, under hundred k and awesome. it, it's stable. It, it, the site was stable like seven or eight month. But consoles was only three months. Yeah. Jeez. So, yeah. but can you give me an idea on, on, on your timeline from when you guys started planning and then you started building your software and the sites, how long that process was and then to where you started getting traffic? Actually, uh, we are uh, trying to uh, uh, build the software uh, and the idea uh, and the developer uh, uh, total we need we just invest our uh, one to three months but when the developer understand our uh, uh, our uh, topic then it uh, create only seven days and uh, time to time uh, uh, we are we are update this software uh, but, uh, or tools but the first uh, the software uh, when I uh, get and I start uh, creating page, uh, just three or five days, uh, wait for see the result. Wow. Only three to five days. And, and Matt, uh, we built actually, you know, four or five different tools, not only one software. Uh -huh. We built four or yeah. five different tools, different scripts to see like, okay, which uh, gonna work for us. And like at the end of it, like one was working well and was like, okay, let's do it. Awesome. I have a question. So, go for it, Holly. Yep. Um, so you said that you, it sounds like expired domains work better than brand new domains, correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so is that because on a new domain, you actually have to build the backlinking and the traffic, or have you actually had successful brand new domains? Maybe take three to six months, but it's still a successful um, campaign, or you just stick with expired now. Uh, did you ever try new domain, Tyson? I never tried. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, five to 10 domain, I will, uh, uh, I was try, and I am not see any result. And, also, I make some uh, link, uh, not the uh, quality will link, but uh, some link, uh, comment back link, uh, etc, mm -hmm. etc, but not see the any result. Um, and Google, so. or but so did you see anything on the Bing side of it? Like, did you get sales at least on the new ones? 
No, Sorry? I don't think. On new domains, do you get any sale? New domains. Some, uh, a little, a little bit, uh, two, a three, bit. four, maximum. Okay. So probably expired with referring domains of maybe like 500 and above is what my guess is. Something like that. So on, on, on the expired domains, um, because there's, there's always a um, something that's brought up when it comes to SEO on the value of the domains is aged versus backlinks coming in. Um, through your testing, did you determine that one or the other was more important for you guys? Was, was it the age of the domain or was it that they had a lot of quality backlinks coming into it? Actually, actually when we are uh, take a domain, expert domain, we actually uh, see this domain is first, it uh, was indexed in the indexing, uh, no issue on in index, lot of page index on Google. And then we are trying to find out the, uh, this domain is, uh, history is fresh. That means uh, it's not used any marketers and not use, uh, not misuse. And uh, obviously the uh, backlink profile and, uh, and the backlink anchor, the bandable anchor uh, where, where see the band, uh, the anchor is bandable. Then we are take the domain and uh, obviously it's a recent drop. Uh, five or six months uh, ago, that domain is dropped. It uh, maximum time not work. A recent drop domain is very good. Nice. So there, there, there are questions regarding the content because um, that's something that's come up, especially after you guys got de-indexed. Um, regarding the content, was it something that was more, because there's rumors on whether it was just scraped or whether you guys had kind of, I guess, scraped, but rewritten content, or if you just kind of pasted it. Um, you don't have to give out all the details to your software, but was did you rewrite the content that, that you did pull in? Actually, these tools was uh, like a template. But we just uh, different here. The, our template, uh, not the single. Uh, we are trying to build uh, 20 to 200 template. The, every template is different. So uh, we are uh, make uh, uh, different other, uh, uh, other tools. As a result, our, uh, uh, our uh, site is very short time uh, touch on Google. Uh, so uh, actually here is the all uh, art article is like a template. Just change the keyword. Okay. And so we, uh, basically we scrapped, uh, you know, uh, Amazon as well, but uh, everything was like, we, we, are, we were just changing the keywords. Like there was nothing. Uh, like buying that, guide uh, FAQs, yeah, this that and the 10 product and table. This uh content is come from uh, Amazon, okay? So there was nothing, nothing like re editing or you know, uh, rewriting or anything related to that or spinning the content. Gotcha, gotcha, that makes sense. Um, so when it came, um, time to you know, you put the content up. Did it just start ranking and converting or did you guys go through any testing to on user experience to try to get more uh, more conversions for pages? Uh, we couldn't manage that luxury, I think. So most of the time we, it was like, okay, just saying. Uh, and people was also, you know, was looking for just, you know, five best options. They, they are not, they were not, you know, really reading the articles. So basically we were ranking the top of the Google, they were clicking it and they are clicking the products and they are going and they're buying it. So the user journey was something like that. So we were like, okay, let's keep it like that. It's very, very interesting because you know you talk about the intent of different content and I know people have tried optimizing for, for um, the intent of the user very much, whether it's informational, transactional, navigational, whatever it is. And you guys really just kind of looked at 
here's the people who are really in that research stage and not sure exactly what they want yet. And you kind of let them click and figure out the transactional stage somewhere else. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, uh, so building the trust, like who will believe a you know, website when we are talking about, you know, those things. So that's why we put only Amazon. So people knows already Amazon is a trusted site. They're buying it from Amazon. So no, you know, trust issues. And uh, we have given some points like pros, cons, et cetera. But once they are going there, they know what to do. Actually, uh, 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 Amazon, uh, we are uh, give some information from the Amazon that that information, that content is uh, very good content. So the uh, user not understand <laughs> about our format, about our content. The, uh, Template content was under uh, the ten product, and the top, uh, and the top only uh, one hundred to one hundred twenty uh, word. So uh, the reader not understand about this page. Uh, it is template, not understand because the uh, table and the product details come from Amazon, and that was. Uh, everything is good. Now, the, the site, obviously, everybody knows for the most part that it got de-indexed. So how long did it actually stay up? Because it stayed up for a while, and then it got de-indexed again, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, actually, when uh, my site goes de-indexed, so uh, my senior brother from here, like Tapos Ghosh, uh, Ariful Islam Polas, uh, 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 Sh Sar. So uh, I, I, I contact uh, this person. Uh, what is the reason my site uh, suddenly uh, goes to DNDX? So uh, I, I know, uh, know something, but uh, yeah, they are experienced person. So they give some uh, tricks. Can can you uh, can you uh, try to do that? So I'm trying this, and I, I get result in uh, two or three days later. Wow! And so, did you have actual conversations with Google during this time? I mean, were they aware of what was going on? And sorry. Uh, did you have conversations with Google during this time with anybody there as far as getting it in, getting it re-indexed? No, no. There is, there is no point of talking with Google because we are doing <laughs> nothing. It's purely black hat. So and, and they never tried to get a hold of you guys or anything? Oh uh, actually uh, I, I doing something like uh, uh Search console, I, I go to search console and see uh, here is a notice uh, the, why they uh, de index me. Then I, uh, uh, of course, I will uh, uh, appeal. But after appeal, I am doing something uh, that's called trip and tricks. Interesting. Um, so, also, I know people are going to ask, first of all, um, can you guys tell us where you got your expired domains or do you keep that quiet? So uh, Sorry. we got the domain, like the conch house was from dan.com and uh -huh. the other, most of the old domains we got from uh, the, the uh, GoDaddy auctions. So uh -huh. there is nothing, nothing to hide. Like That's that. awesome. <laughs> and uh, also more uh, like uh, GoDaddy, Sido. Uh, uh, Namejet is good for expert domain. Awesome. And, and what? How much do you spend on a domain? On a good domain? Actually, uh, it's. Uh, uh, I will take it from auction. So uh, we are make a budget, but sometimes it's cost. Uh, the consoles we uh, buy from buy it's uh, two point eight k. Wow. Now it's, if you want by now, maybe uh, like this type domain is goes to 
hundred k. Jeez, have you had offers for Conkhouse? Ten k. Have you guys had offers for Conkhouse? Sorry. Have you guys had offers for Conkhouse even after it's been de-indexed? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I have a dropped order on it for 2026. <laughs> so if you drop it, Holly's it going in. after it. <laughs> yeah, I already put it in. If it's dropped, I hope I get it. <laughs> so uh, we, we, we plan that uh, we'll, we'll uh, create the case study and put the case study on Ponsol homepage. So we, we'll keep the domain. Awesome. Awesome. So um, are, there, are you in process of trying to get it re-indexed again? Now it's now the domain is indexed. Oh, it is still indexed. Ah, ah, interesting. Again, again, uh, one or one point five month later, the domain reindexed again. So, are you guys still making money off of it? Sorry, are you are you still making money off that domain? No, no. Okay. Yeah, it has a mental to uh, a manual penalty, but it ranks for a lot of things. So I'm, I was thinking that you would still get traffic from Bing because it ranks good, unless Bing ding it too. Well, yeah, I'm still seeing four thousand results in search right now. Very cool, man. Um, as Amazon contacted you guys regarding this at all, or tried to take back any of the money. No, no. I am. Uh, I collect them uh, all the money, very simply, simply. Right. Yeah, and I don't know. I don't know if you how aware you guys are of Holly's story with Amazon. She, uh, Holly, do you want to tell your story a little bit? No. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, Holly did a million dollars on Amazon in a weekend and uh, got it taken away. They wouldn't send her the money. Yeah, I think I, I wonder if if the circumstances would be changed if it if someone did this in the in the in the the US and it had as much uh, as many people looking at it because of DMCA's and things like that. Cause I I would think that Amazon would send a DMCA to your hosting because it is scraped content. So I'm really interested in the AI um, content that you guys are doing because if you can do it that way and, and you're not taking their images or anything like that, um, I think that's a total different game changer. It's, it's a legitimate way to do it. Yeah, that's why we are currently focusing on AI. Well, so, that's, uh, that's actually a perfect segment. So let's, let's actually jump into the AI part of it a little more. <laughs> uh, re regarding the AI, so is this something new or have you guys been looking into it for a while? Uh, we are we are looking into it for a while, uh, but now we are focusing on the AI rather than scrapping the content and you know uh, putting it on coy best way. So right now we are trying to uh, integrate our uh, GPT system into the software and uh, push the content, legitimate content. So has your has your testing been successful with it so far? Like, are you getting the AI content indexed? Is it getting traffic and is it converting? We, we are getting some fractions, but like not right now that we can say, okay, we are getting like good results. We are getting some decent results, but uh, it yet to be done. Like now we are focused. I think from there, three to six months, we'll be able to see some solid results. And then maybe we can jump in another call and- <laughs> Same, this time result are good. <laughs> and um, so people are definitely gonna ask, what tools you're using when it comes to AI? Are, are you using ChatGPT like a lot of people or are there other things that you're using? So we're trying to integrate the GPT-4 right now. Okay. Before we try to integrate GPT-3. Um, for, and we don't have to include this, but I, I'm just curious. For images, are you using their image or are you using, are you... Uh, generating something from like mid journey or whatever uh not mid journey but we are thinking like we'll uh, scrap the images and but we'll you know uh, do something more with the images and then put it on our website like not direct copy paste but a little bit different okay 
And um, so are, are you using the, a the API to integrate into your software to be able to use GPT or? Yeah. Okay. So not using any actual app itself. No, that, that's not publicly available. Actual app. Yeah, yeah. Not not any kind of app. Okay. Directly uh, GPT. Yeah. API. And uh, so you, go ahead, wait, go ahead Mark. On. So they didn't custom code a something. They're just using the straight API. Is that what he's saying? They're pulling the API into their software that they developed. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Okay. And, and and I'm assuming part of that is for the um, amount of calls that you guys are going for versus yeah, the that's manual be process of yeah, because the the manual process would probably take too long to go in and get the content. Where using the API allows you to create bulk pages and push immediately. Do you spend a lot of time on um, the SEO side of that as far as optimizing your headings um, for intent or your meta tags and descriptions in any of that information or meta title, sorry? Uh, not, not really. Like the goal is to, you know, spend less time more in the automation side. So like we have, like we are creating templates, different templates. So uh, that's, the, the templates will do everything. And in our software, like you can customize the templates, like you can like create your, create your own templates. Like you want like this kind of sections, what will be the title, what will be those things. And then you can like push like, all that, for example, all the best keywords, right? Like best source, like something like that. And then you can put all the keywords related to that. And then the, all the templates will push only those kind of content, 10 best, 11 best, seven best, so like that. Does, uh, when you're done with creating a piece of content using AI, are you checking to see if there's, if the AI detectors can read it or do you even care whether it's, um, don't care, okay. <laughs> Good to know. You know, there's a lot of speculation with stuff out there right now. Obviously AI is be being talked about a lot and there's people that say, don't use AI content at all. And there's some people that say, well, you it needs to be written so that it, appears as if it was written by a human and the detectors can't find it. Um, so it, it's interesting to see, you know, what your strategy is going forward. And, you know, maybe even down the road, if that changes, you know, if everybody's creating AI content that is detected as AI content, will that change the algorithm in the future? And is that something you guys could quickly adjust to as well? Yeah, so, so what I feel is like Google doesn't have uh, time first, you know, uh, doing that. What this is what I feel. Uh, like Google cares about like how you're creating value for the uh, like people who are doing the queries in the search. So how you're creating the values for them. So this is what I feel. So that's why we are not that much worried about you know uh, like in, in the near future Google will detect the AI content and you know uh, punish the AI contents. I don't. I don't. I don't feel uh, in that way. What I, what I feel like if we can create values for the uh, our traffic, then definitely Google will love it. Like if people are not uh, jumping back to the other sites, if they're satisfied with our uh, content, then Google has no issue, right? So in, in your new content strategy with AI, are, are you looking more now at building um, kind of pillar pages and then building supporting pages that would internally link to those? within the site or okay, is it we are working on it we are working okay. on it or did you find that when you spent more time on internal linking that you saw better results definitely okay like i, I have different whitehead projects as well so definitely it works so we are trying to you know uh keep it as legit as possible interesting so um you you obviously worked on the affiliate side. Are are you looking at other sources of income now? Yep. 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 Okay. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we can't depend on only Amazon, right? So that's why we actually, you know, put this uh, new plan. Uh, because I like I have heard a uh, couple of other people uh, are getting, you know, punished uh, from Amazon as well. Like how, what happened to Holly, not that kind of thing, but 
uh, like they are banning those Amazon accounts and all. So that's why we are, we were like, okay, we can't depend on one source of you know uh, monetization. So definitely we will we will go for uh, all kind of ads. Already, and, you know, already we are uh, going on uh, Ejoic. Yeah. Ad media, ad media vine. Hey, have you have you looked into the um, drop shipping side of things yet? I know some of you, some of your viewers are are going to ask that. You know, if you could do affiliate, but can have you looked into drop shipping where there's higher uh, margins? We no. will definitely look into it. We will definitely look into it. Right now, we don't have it in our current system, but like this is this is a plan. Like we'll we'll try to explore different niches, and we'll try to you know. Uh, monetize as much as we can and then we can you know build some case study and push uh, into the market also like this is how we have done it and you can do it as well nice so um i'll kind of end it up here a little bit but uh just wanted to, what what is something that you would tell somebody who's wanting to get involved and do something similar to what you guys did what's the best tip you could give them to start out i yes, <laughs> uh actually uh try to do something new uh that's mean not uh in that that uh, side or uh, some uh, result you see the going good not try to do the same but try to some new in, in, on it it's uh, give you a result and uh, that's see you the road where you need to go very good well guys so, uh, my, my tips right. would be something like this like uh, you know uh, instead of going for one domain or five maybe you can start with at least 20 domains and you know uh, explore different niches uh, and try different uh, modules like uh, you know, go go with AI. Uh, what I would say, like, like uh, I know some people are still doing this scrapping method, but I would suggest go with AI. You know, uh, that would be like if you, you are not like if you haven't done it before, go with go with AI. And if yes, you sir. like have the, all the experiences, then maybe you can go with the scrapping because you will you know like it's not about only earning the money. It's also you know you have to get the money in your hand. So. So that's why I, I would suggest maybe get, go with AI. It would be safer than, you know, stepping. So K Kaiser and Asa, thank, thank you guys for joining us. And it's it's been a great journey watching what you've done and your successes. And we really look forward to it. Um, hearing down the road, more details from you. And hopefully we can get you um, here in the United States one of these days and have you speak in front of uh, people that we work with. Uh, thank you for inviting us. And definitely we would love to join in uh, anywhere uh, in the world and share our knowledge and learn more from people around all over the globe. Perfect. Thanks, guys.